All right, well, um, I'm going to demo um, what I think is really neat and new functionality uh, coming out of Esri uh, this month. Um, and that is an ability to pull data in uh, from Excel. So Microsoft Excel uh, and draw it right on a map uh, without actually having to open up ArcGIS Pro. So essentially expanding pretty widely um, the accessibility of some of the, uh, I guess, simpler mapping tools. So um, what I'm doing in this demo here is um, we're starting here with some data coming out of the wonderful Western Pennsylvania Regional Data Center. This is just 2021 crash data, and um, I've already pre-filtered this. This is uh, looking specifically at crashes that involved a bicycle. So you can see up here, I've added just a simple filter to grab those records. And then for 2021, I have, uh, it looks like 34 entries here. And so I've already gone ahead and downloaded this data set. And what we're going to do is just pull this into Excel and try and map uh, it out. So let me switch my windows here real quick. And so we'll get to Excel here. And, uh, you know, pretty straightforward data set here. Um, we're not going to use all this, obviously, but these are my crashes involving bicycles. And then you can see I've already got some geocoded data here, latitude, longitude, and then I have my decimal degree, uh, latitude, longitude as well. Um, okay, so um, as just a initial step to explain um, where I'm going to get the functionality that you're looking at shortly here. Um, there is a new app available uh, through Microsoft's app source called ArcGIS for Excel. And you can see it here. And so if you go ahead and download this, install it, um, <clears throat> which is pretty quick, um, you can see it's going to allow you to then begin working with data um, and mapping capabilities directly within Excel. So I've already gone ahead and done that. And what you'll see now is that if we go back to my Excel, you'll note that I've got this new uh, toolbar up here called ArcGIS. And I've also got one here called Map Data. So what I'm going to do here is just click on the ArcGIS uh, button and click this button called Show Map. And what that's going to do is pop up this little login prompt. I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue. And that is going to load my map viewer directly within Excel, which is already pretty cool. So great, that's a good first step. Now, what I'm going to do here is I want to get these data, my bicycle accidents, obviously onto the map. So I'm going to do that by clicking on this layers button here on the map window. And you can see here it's prompting me to add either a source from Excel or from ArcGIS. So again, this is pretty neat. So I can go and grab anything that I've already stored on ArcGIS online, or if I want to add, for example, a living atlas layer or something like that, I can do that. Um, but in this case, the data I want to add are actually these uh, points. So I'm going to click the Excel button. And then here you can see it's prompting me for a cell range. So in this case, I'm just going to select all of my data. So I'll get back to cell A1 here and make sure I select everything. And that's going to load it in. You're going to see it's going to recognize the data as coordinates. And I just need to change these longitude and latitude fields. So I'll do that. And that's it. So pretty cool. And I'm just going to click add to map. And it is going to add now this nice point data set to my map, which is pretty neat. All right. So I'm going to do just some simple styling here. Um, and to do that, you know, again, uh, many of these controls and functions and features you're going to recognize, especially if you've been using some of the online capabilities already, or maybe ArcGIS Insights. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on the layer button again, and you'll see up here at the top, I've got a button called Layer Options. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And if I wanted to, I could 
create a heat map out of my data, right? Which again, depending on how zoomed in or zoomed out is going to change the appearance of that heat map. But what I want to do actually is just use the simple single symbol. So I'm going to click on that. Once I do that, you'll note that you've got a symbol uh, style options down here at the bottom. And this is where you can change your colors and your symbology. So I'm going to do this. And again, for those of you that use ArcGIS online a lot, this is all going to feel pretty familiar. I'm going to click on advanced controls here. And I'm just going to see if I can find something maybe under public safety that I can use. So let's see. Scroll down, find one of these nice pre-built layers here. So, or I'm sorry, symbol, symbol type. So here we go. I'll just use this one. And if I want to make those a little bigger, I can do so here. All right, great. So I've got my simple symbol now added for my crashes involving bikes. Uh, and then you can, you can explore these other options on your own, obviously, but if you want to use some clustering, you can do that as well, manage your pop-ups, et cetera, et cetera. So a fair amount of control here, um, which is, which is pretty great. So I'm going to get out of the styling window here and I'm going to close this. And now I'm just maybe going to, let's see if I want to look at a different base map here. Uh, maybe I'll change over the topographic base map and and there we go. So off and running. And we will now, let's see now if we can, um, let's try and actually export this. So I've got this far, right? And you might be wondering where to go from here. Well, we have some options. One option being um, that we can share this out um, to ArcGIS Online. Uh, or uh, if I prefer, I can actually export it um, as a PDF, which is, I think, really great because sometimes all we want to do is create that simple basic map. So I'm going to do that here, just give it a basic title. So I'll call this um, uh, Crashes Involving Bicyclists 2021. Then I'll come down here, include the legend, export, and that's it. It's going to give me a nice PDF now that I can open up. All right, so now that that has finished exporting, I should be able to click on the link here for exported files. And once I view that in the browser, I'll get this nice, uh, nice PDF. So, all right, well, I'm going to stop there. Just kind of a quick demo of some of the new functionality uh, that Esri has now built in, uh, taking advantage of some of the Arc GIS online tools, uh, but directly within Excel. So for uh, those who might be a little less familiar with the desktop software, I think this will uh, greatly improve the accessibility to some of these tools, especially when you're already working with some of the data uh, within Excel. All right, thanks.